Super Hookah The Super Hookah is a hookah diving system that allows divers to dive up to 30 feet, 10 meters, deep for up to 2 hours on a single charge. It is a surface supplied breathing apparatus, SSBA, that consists of a floating unit that air is pulled into through a snorkel and pumped down an airline to a regulator. The diver breathes from the regulator and exhales into the water. The Super Hookah is marketed as being easier to use and more affordable than traditional scuba diving and it does not require any special training or certification. However, it is important to note that the Super Hookah is not a toy and should only be used by experienced divers who are familiar with the risks of diving. Easy to use and learn. No special training or certification required. More affordable than traditional scuba diving. Compact and portable. Allows divers to stay underwater for up to two hours. Limited depth range. 30 feet can be noisy requires a clear surface area for the floating unit divers must be aware of the risks of diving overall the super hookah is a good option for divers the magic jet is a water jet pack that allows users to fly above the water it is powered by a hose that is connected to a personal watercraft pwc and it can propel users up to 30 feet 9 meters in the air the magic jet is controlled by using body weight to shift the direction of the jet the magic jet is a popular recreational activity and it is also used by some professional athletes and stunt performers it is a relatively safe activity but it is important to follow safety guidelines and to use the magic jet under the supervision of a qualified instructor exciting and exhilarating experience allows users to fly above the water relatively easy to learn can be used for recreation sports and stunts can be expensive to purchase and use requires a pwc can be dangerous if not used safely not suitable for everyone overall the magic jet is a fun and exciting way to experience the water however it is important to use it safely and responsibly and to be aware of its limitations always wear a life jacket and helmet sea trek is a guided underwater walking tour that allows participants to explore the underwater world Without having to scuba dive, participants wear a helmet that is connected to an air supply, and they walk along a predetermined path on the seafloor. Sea Trek tours are offered at a variety of locations around the world, and they are a popular activity for tourists and locals alike. Sea Trek is a great way to experience the underwater world, without having to go through the hassle and expense of getting scuba certified. It is also a safe activity for people of all ages and swimming abilities. However, it is important to note that sea trek is not a diving activity, and participants should not attempt to swim away from the guided tour. Easy to use and learn. No special training or certification required. Safe for people of all ages and swimming abilities. A great way to experience the underwater world. Tours are offered at a variety of locations around the world. The Darkfin Durafin gloves are a type of web glove that is designed to improve swimming performance. They are made from a durable latex material, that is resistant to tears and abrasions, and they feature a unique webbing design that helps to propel the wearer through the water. The Durafin gloves are also lined with a soft cotton flock finish that provides a comfortable grip and prevents slipping. The Darkfin Durafin gloves are popular among swimmers of all levels, from beginners to competitive athletes. They are also used by water aerobics instructors and lifeguards. The gloves are said to help swimmers improve their speed, power, and endurance. They can also help to reduce fatigue and hand strain. Durable latex construction. Unique webbing design. Soft cotton flock lining. Comfortable and secure fit. Improves swimming performance. Reduces fatigue and hand strain. If you are looking for a way to improve your swimming performance, the Darkfin Durafin gloves are a good option to consider. They are durable, comfortable, and effective, and they can help you to swim faster, stronger, and for longer. The Subwing Honeycomb is an underwater towing device that allows users to glide through the water like a dolphin. It is constructed from two separate wings, connected by a rotatable joint. Users hold on to the leading edge of each wing with one hand and control the subwing's direction by tilting the wings. The subwing honeycomb is towed behind a boat at a slow speed, and users can experience a variety of underwater sensations, including diving, barrel rolls, and underwater acrobatics. The subwing honeycomb is a popular recreational activity, and it is also used by some professional athletes and stunt performers. It is a relatively safe activity, but it is important to follow safety guidelines 
and to use the subwing honeycomb under the supervision of a qualified instructor. Exciting and exhilarating experience allows users to glide through the water like a dolphin. Relatively easy to learn, can be used for recreation, sports, and stunts, can be expensive to purchase and use, requires a boat, can be dangerous if not used safely, not suitable for everyone. Overall, the Ocean Guardian Spear is a handheld electrical shark deterrent device. It is designed to be used by divers, snorkelers, and spearfishers to protect themselves from shark attacks. The Spear emits a powerful electrical field that is intended to deter sharks by causing them discomfort and disorientation. The Spear is powered by a lithium-ion battery and has a runtime of up to two hours. It is easy to use and can be activated with one hand. The Spear is also lightweight and compact, making it easy to carry in store. The Spear is a popular choice for divers and water sports enthusiasts who are looking for a way to protect themselves from shark attacks. It is also used by some professional shark researchers and conservationists. However, it is important to note that the Spear is not a foolproof way to prevent shark attacks, and it should always be used in conjunction with other safety precautions. Powerful electrical field deters sharks. Easy to use and activate with one hand. Lightweight and compact. Up to two hours of battery life. The DPX Orion is an underwater tablet platform for divers that transforms a smart tablet into a powerful underwater tool. It consists of a rugged housing that encases a smart tablet, a port for viewing video and photos, and a USB port for connecting accessories. The DPX Orion is connected to the surface by a tether that provides power and data transmission. Navigation The DPX Orion can be used with navigation software to help divers stay on track and avoid obstacles. Dive Planning the DPX Orion can be used with dive planning software to plan and track dives. Underwater photography and videography. The DPX Orion can be used with underwater photography and videography apps to capture stunning images and videos of the underwater world. Communication. The DPX Orion can be used with communication apps to stay in touch with other divers and surface support. Research and education. The DPX Orion can be used with research and education apps to collect data and learn about the underwater world. The DPX Orion is a versatile tool. Oxama is a wearable oximeter computer that is designed for freedivers. It is the first of its kind to feature biometric sensors and a voice assistant, making it a valuable tool for freedivers of all levels of experience. Oxama's biometric sensors measure blood oxygen saturation, SPO2, and heart rate. This information is then relayed to the voice assistant, which can provide freedivers with real-time feedback on their health and performance. The voice assistant can also be used to control Oksama's other features, such as the alarm and the backlight. Oksama is designed to be worn on the face, which allows it to provide more accurate readings than wrist-based oximeters. This is because the facial skin is thinner and has a better blood supply than the skin on the wrist. Oksama is also designed to be comfortable to wear for long periods of time, even during deep dives. An alarm that can be set to go off if a diver's SPO2 falls below a certain level. A backlight that can be used to see the display in low light conditions. A data logging feature that can be used to track a diver's progress over time. Oksama is a versatile tool.